All right, guys, what's going on? We are back today after about a week or so of no uploads. Uh, sorry about that, but been pretty busy, actually. Even though school's out and everything, I've had a lot of stuff to be doing with uh, your work or sports or whatever. So uh, probably like July or August, I'll be able to upload daily again. But right now, it's probably like back to once or twice a week, hopefully more than that. But, you know, uh, I haven't really been pushing either on ladder. Only at 6,100. I'll just try to get 63 uh, by the end of the season. I don't have time to go for 66, but next season I should be able to get around there. Hopefully my first top 10K finish or something like that. So, uh, yeah, anyway, we got the Firecrackers fireworks show. I guess that's for, like, the 4th of July or something, I'd assume. Uh, but it just seems like, oh, yeah, definitely with all the <laughs> fireworks up there and the top. But anyway, uh... I've just been thinking, like, there's so many, like, firecracker challenges and stuff. Like, there's never been, like, any barbarian challenges or anything like that. It's pretty weird, like, how many firecracker challenges there are. Like, there's just so many cards that, like, never gotten any attention pretty much with those types of, like, special challenges and everything. But I guess the firecracker is a pretty entertaining card and lots of fun interactions with it and stuff. So, uh, the deck we're using is right here, uh, just pretty much the Firecracker, Hog, Rider, Earthquake deck. Uh, and then we got like, Skeleton Barrels, since like, Firecrackers really struggle against that. Got the Arrows, of course, you're definitely going to need Arrows. Uh, just Log in here as well, and Skarmy, I guess, just because uh, Skarmy's pretty good in these like types of challenges. Uh, since like, there's a lot of stuff going on, so like in a normal match, like uh, on like, mid-ladder, people usually have a lot of answers to Skarmy, since they're... Uh, like, used to seeing it a lot since it's kind of, like, a no-skill, like, commonly used card around there. But in these uh, types of challenges, like, there's so much stuff going on that people, like, often don't react to the Skarmies and stuff, so those get, like, tons of value. Like, they just kind of, like, go unrecognized with how many, like, firecrackers are spamming and stuff. Or they'll be using their arrows on the firecracker, and then your Skarmie gets tons of value and stuff like that, so. Uh, that's why I have it over skeletons in here. And, yeah, so we're just going to go with the arrows uh, right away here. Let's see what he's going to do. Uh, he might have arrows, but he doesn't have them in cycle yet. So he's actually going with a Valkyrie. Or so. Oh, a bit of a misplay right there. I'm uh, going to have to log that in to the Tesla range. All right, we're probably going to go with a Hog right here. Just going to ignore that Firecracker. We'll go with an Earthquake if he has any building. Okay, he's actually going to have a Hunter. Interesting. So we're just going to go with a knight here. Oh, I should probably put a Valkyrie in here since there's like uh, a decent amount of like goblin cage. Or not goblin cage, goblin drill going on. Still a really good card. All right, right here. Oh, shoot. He's up a lot of elixir. So I'm just going to go with a Tesla like this so that the Mega Knight's not going to jump onto it. I'm not sure how he got up so much elixir, but we need to be more passive, I guess. Probably haven't been focusing that much. Uh, anyway... Yeah, that's a lot of damage right there. Uh, okay, we're going to go with a hog over here. He definitely overcommitted there. And we'll definitely get that tower down too. So it's just a matter of a two-tower game at this point. Okay. Let's go with a skeleton barrel up here. All right, so he's going to have to use his arrows there. No idea how the Tesla didn't go there. Anyway, we'll score the Tesla and a Knight right here as well. Go with the arrows and the firecrackers right there. And a hog right there, making sure the Mega Knight's not going to jump. We don't have sound effects on either since I got a... I can't have it on while I'm recording or else it, like, won't have the audio go through. So that's, uh, always makes me play worse and stuff, but we should be able to win this challenge pretty easily, I would say. Yeah, I just don't get why his Mega Knight's getting so much value and stuff. Yeah, how does he have so much Elixir? It's crazy. Uh... We can just earthquake log here, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, definitely. We don't even need, didn't even need the log there. Uh, but yeah, he's up elixir right now. Uh, actually, with a hog in front here, gonna arrows there. 
before they get a shot off. I'll put like Mega Knight on there, and that's really good for us because we don't need to even do anything about it since the Mega Knight's going to be uh, in the King Tower lane. Yeah, I've probably been like leaking and stuff a lot. Uh, didn't really play well at all there, but yeah, easy first win, of course. From now, 5-0. And the rewards from this challenge are, like, not really the best. It's just kind of, like, it's, like, a magical chest up next here. More gold. It's up to, oh, nine wins. All right. Uh, yeah, 10,000 gold, and that's actually pretty good for, uh, I think you get, like, 15,000 gold total. You probably get 1,000 at the beginning. I know you got at least uh, 1,000 at the beginning, and then you get 4,000, and then 10,000 at the end. So you get 15,000 gold. So that's pretty good, to be honest, but... Nothing too crazy, I guess, out of this. No, like, legendary uh, cards guaranteed or anything. Unless you get really lucky and pull one out of a magical chest, but that's pretty unlikely. Okay, this dude's actually a level, uh, at least got a level 8 Valk, so... Okay, we'll just go with Skarmie on here, and we'll just ignore... Oh, he's gonna have actually get lucky there. All right, nice. Yeah, whenever you see a level 8 in these types of challenges, like anyone with, like, level 8 cards, it's typically going to be a free win, like, in, like, say, grand challenges and stuff, if someone's got, like, a level 8 tower, like, one level 8 card, it's not a guaranteed win, because it could be, like, a really good player, just, like, on a new account or something, but, yeah, typically in these types of challenges, yeah, I definitely need Valk, I forgot to switch that out, whoops, uh... That would be a lot better against the Mega Knight, because I guess a lot of these <laughs> bad players around this range are going to be using Mega Knight and stuff. So, is that going to get a jump? No, let's go. <laughs> Just going to go in here a bit. Uh, I'll probably actually let all that stuff go over there. I mean, just don't really need to uh, defend that. Okay, definitely go with the arrows right there. Hopefully that kills the cannon card, too. It does. A really good arrows right there. All right, he's going to go with a deep barrel, looks like. So we're just going to... Oh, really deep. So we're just going to put Skarmie on that. Yeah, this deck is just really perfect for, like, countering, like, other hog decks and stuff because, like, it's got the extra damage with the skeleton barrel. It's got, uh, obviously, like, arrows and log because a lot of people are going to be playing bait decks. Uh, like this dude here. I mean, not really traditional bait deck by any means, but it's got, like, the Goblin Barrel and stuff, so... Still, like, technically a bait deck, I guess. It's not, not really, like, any type of deck, to be honest, but... You think with another extreme far corner uh, barrel right there, and at this point, yeah, we've definitely already won, but... We just gotta take this second tower here make sure... He just played his Val. Oh, he's Mega Knight and a bunch of other splash. Yeah. Yeah, this deck is going to be fine against all the, like, just absolute splash unit spammers like this dude. Like, literally, Firecracker, Bomber, Executioner, Val, and Mega Knight. Uh, like, five out of his. Well, I guess it's nine cards, technically, since the uh, Firecracker is in your deck. But five out of nine cards in this dude's deck, if not more. I might have forgotten some, or just straight up splash damage cards. So. A lot of times, people, like, lose early on because they're facing just absolute crap like this, but uh, this deck's going to be pretty resistant against that, especially once I put Valkyrie in. So, Magical Chest here, uh, no Legendaries, but that's actually pretty good. Uh, eight Electro Giants. Uh, 74 Bombers, I guess. Pretty good overall. Nothing too shabby there. You know, we're going to put Valk inside of here. For sure. Alright, just gotta get three more wins here. Uh, up against this guy now. Uh, Nova Sports. Not even Nova Esports. That's the most scuffed clan I've ever seen. Alright, so he's gonna go with, uh, I was gonna say he's going with a firecracker in the back, but no, those automatically spawn. So we're just gonna go with a hog. Is he even going to play anything, or is, he, <laughs> is this going to be a free win here? Uh, probably. Nice. Oh, he's going to do something now, of course. But uh, thank you for the win. We, we already won. <laughs> You're not coming back from this. Especially with, with, if <laughs> you already got Valk and Wizard. You can pretty much tell this dude's not going to be the best player, except, of course, he's going to get mad RNG there. Oh, he's still going to get hit. Wow. Wow. 
you know, Source can go with Hog opposite lane here since we're pretty much just able to... I, mean, I can't get too confident now since, of course, he's got uh, Balloon. We actually got to focus up here a little bit, make sure we don't completely choke this in case he is a good player that is disconnected. But, I mean, you can really just tell from, like, the decks and stuff. Like, this dude's got Wizard and Executioner. Like, no good player is going to be running two 5 Elixir splash damage cards that basically do the same thing. Just completely ridiculous. Uh... Let's go with the log right there so we can ignore the Valk. And yeah, right here, we already got two towers down. So he's going to have to have an insane comeback here. But obviously, he's not going to. So just got to Tesla there for the balloons and stuff. Still got a minute 15 left. I guess we'll just three crown him probably. Unless he tries to defend, thinking he still has a chance or something. But let's be real here. Yep, so of course he's going to actually try to defend. Uh, not sure why, but... He's, he's got the pass way out, too. He doesn't even need to actually try here. So, yeah, again, not sure why he's actually trying still. He can just get another game for free. Don't Doesn't have to worry about losing. Oh, yeah, let's just see if we can get him here. He's going to drop a Valk on that, counter the full thing. Yeah, it's just pretty annoying at this point. He's got Mega Knight, too, of course. Wow. Yeah, this this type of deck's only going to work if it's completely maxed out on ladder against, like, level 12s and 11s and stuff. So he's having a bit of a hard time now that he's out of his comfort zone. So... Uh. Yeah, so what's that going to put us at? We got to get like two more wins now, I think. And we got all three losses still. So. All right. Where we can get this time for the reward out of here. I think it's like either gold or just something stupid. Uh, oh, we get the 4,000 gold now. And then we got the gold chest. Like, why is the gold chest ahead of the magical chest? That's just dumb, in my opinion. That I get that they're probably trying to like make it so that more players go get the good reward since like i guess the majority of players will probably lose out of like five or six wins or something so they might not get to the ma magical chest if it was at eight wins but it's like come on you don't have like the good rewards <laughs> like earlier on it's really weird to me uh yes yeah, so skeleton mural is gonna bypass that uh, almost and he actually has a log too interesting so He's got a deck pretty much like similar to mine, it looks like, and he's going to go with the Goblin uh, Drill here. So we're actually facing a meta deck, it looks like, but thankfully we got the Valken now instead of the Knight, so that's not going to be an issue if, uh, for us. He's going to have Ice Wizard as well. Okay, he's going to have that. We're going to log back as well, uh, but the Firecracker is going to shoot. All right. <laughs> Okay, we're going to definitely take the arrow's value here. The Ice Wizard is going to go out of range, though, unfortunately. So I'm uh, going to EQ right here as well uh, so we can get a hog down. So obviously, is, uh, we'll have another building in cycle. Let's see here. What's he going to do? Oh, he's got Goblin Gang. Interesting. Uh, not a bad deck by this guy, uh, in my opinion, at least so far. So, I mean, he's actually got a chance here, to be honest, if he plays well. Oh, I thought that... Ooh, that's actually well played. Okay, we're seeing what the earthquake on that every time we see it. So he's going with an Ice Wizard right there. And we're going to go on the Valk this time. Then we're going to go with a Skarmy on top of the Firecrackers. So, yeah, it's going to work out. We're in a slight damage lead, but I think this will probably be a two-tower game. He's got the arrows and stuff. He knows what's up. He's got a decent deck here. Okay, so now our Firecracker is actually really protected, and the Skeleton Barrel is going to lock onto the... Well, the Tesla's going to lock onto the Skeleton Barrel. So it looked like we were going to get a hog hit right there, but we didn't. Okay, we're going to go with Valk on the barrel again. That there and this up here okay that's gonna work out pretty good gonna get a firecracker shot on the tower and yeah we're up like 300 damage at this point 
If he goes with a Tesselar, that's another free Earthquake for us. And now we can go in with the Hog right here. Going with a Prelog, actually. Uh, crap. Yeah, we're going to have to let him take Tower for sure. It's going to be a two-Tower game, but we're definitely fine with that since our Tower is way higher there. And we're going to have two Firecrackers there uh, giving us lots of value. We're just going to go with Arrows there in case he tries to support that with a Hog or something. Um, I'm leaking, dang it. Okay, our firecrackers are, firecrackers are probably going to splash onto there. So, we're making sure to... Oh, and they have to shut off. That is beautiful right there. Okay, I bet he's going to arrows this, but... So, we're going to make sure to look on here. Um, he actually isn't, so... Get a nice Skarmie right there. And I think this is probably going to be game at this point. Oh, the hog actually is going to go for that. It's got to get a, a few more earthquakes cycled. Another absolute juicy arrows right there on those three firecrackers. We don't even get to see them uh, get taken out because the game is already over. Uh, two to one right there. Well played to that dude. We just got to get one more win here. Uh, don't really care if we lose at this point because I don't think we would lose two in a row since we have a pretty good deck. So Bruno right there. Then we'll play to him. He's got a pretty similar deck to us. He's just got, uh, let's see, Goblin Gang instead of Skarmie. And he's got, like, the drill instead of skeleton barrel. I mean, drill, I would use that instead of skeleton barrel, but I just figured a lot of people would be, like, assuming that there would be a lot of drills. They'd be, like, running drill counters like Valkyrie and stuff. Like, look at this. Valkyrie, 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 Valkyrie. Yeah, um, one, two, three, four, five, six Valkyrie decks in a row. So that's why we're not running drill. Uh, yeah, and then, of course, we ourselves have Valkyrie, so... Yeah, and he's got, like, no... He's got, like, Ice Wizard instead of a third spell, like what we have, so... Yeah, pretty good deck by him again. And we go, are going into, hopefully, our final match right here against uh, Brayan here, so... Just gonna make sure to be nice and passive here at the beginning. Just gonna arrow his Firecracker right away, probably, and just see what he does. I would be assuming that, yeah, especially since he's free to play here, or at least doesn't have the pass yet... Oh, a uh, nice King Tower activation by him. Uh, he's going to be able to get that right there. So Looks like he's going to be running a cheap cycle deck here. Okay, interesting. He's got Ice Golem Log Bait. That's really weird. Oh, he does have Knight, too. That's even weirder. Um, we're going to protect that, and then we're going to go with the arrows right here. So he's probably going to be up Elixir for sure. Oh, we're going to miss the Princess. But hopefully we're going to get... Yeah, we're gonna, at least going to get the... Valk to the tower there. Okay. Yeah, I'm just going to go with a Tesla right there, and then our Firecracker should be able to take out the Princess. Okay, nice. Um, we we're up a bit of damage here. Probably just going to go Hog here and get his Inferno Tower out of the way, since that'll be a negative trade for him. Yeah. Then we're just going to go with the arrows on top of that. Oh, he's going to get really good luck there on the princess being able to take all that out. We're going to go with the... Oh, I was meant to play Skarmie there. Whoops, I still had my log in hand. Because I wanted to go with the uh, log on all the firecrackers and princesses and stuff. But that's all right. Go with that there. Okay, we gotta be careful actually. I'm gonna keep that firecracker alive. Good. With a oh, good luck by us right there. Played them all on the front. Really good luck by us. Okay, that's gonna be taken out. We're gonna with Tesla right there. Real ghost is actually pretty annoying. So, oh, what the heck? Oh, the te oh, I'm stupid. What was I even doing there? Royal Ghost was not going to be staying unhidden enough to get it there. Yeah, we got to be careful and actually take out, like, one tower for sure since... Okay. Okay, that's really good for us now. 
was actually getting worried there since we were like splitting up damage a bit too much but now we got it now just a couple more uh, i guess one more earthquake will do it just got to make sure to have skarmy here for that and then there we go good game well played to this guy uh had a pretty interesting deck i'm not sure what I had ice golem and knight but i mean that's just what happens in these challenges you're not gonna have the best players that's why i can do live commentary i am absolutely terrible at doing live commentary and playing uh like playing well and stuff so i mean that's a good practice for me doing this but yeah i'm not sure he had like royal ghost too which is basically just another like tank card so he had like three cheap tank cards for some reason but then the rest of his deck is just classic log bait so i'm not sure what the plan was there oh yeah it's not even a legendary arena was this dude yeah this dude was actually good he had that classic challenge win just look through here these none of these guys were even at like challenger three even they're all just low challenger players uh yeah 6k player right there yeah these things are really easy to win if you are a fairly like experienced player so Gonna get the nine wins there, nine and zero oh on the firecracker challenge there. Uh, and yeah, I'll make sure to get those ladder videos come uh coming out soon, and maybe a level one video. But I'll probably make a video actually like addressing like the current state of level one versus like an actual level one ladder pushing video. I'm kind of like burnt out of pushing that to be honest. I'll push it next season a lot, and same with my main account. I'm trying to get sixty six hundred top 10k global finish and but yeah so that'll be the end of this video make sure to have hopefully something out by tomorrow or at least two days from now so till then we'll be seeing you make sure to drop a like if you did like the video and subscribe we got up to like 110 subs right now it's crazy we we're just at 100 a couple weeks ago now we're actually growing pretty fast like insanely fast compared to the like growth rate in the past so yeah we'll be seeing you tomorrow or in a couple days here so yeah.